How's it going, friends and family of the internet? Welcome to the Real AF TV podcast, a show about fishing and, well, fishing and random takes is our normal go around. This is another one of our holiday specials, the Thanksgiving special of 2022. We usually talk a lot about food. Tim, you ready to talk about food? Because we're probably going to just talk a lot about food. Bro, I'm ready to talk about food. Uh... I got to also say real quick, if anybody saw my face, if you're watching the YouTube version, the shock on my face was that like Josh was taking a swig real quick. I was taking a swig real quick before we started this thing off and the camera, the connection had like froze for a second where it looked like you were still <laughs> drinking. And all of a sudden I hear you go, what's up? And you start talking. I'm like, oh, Jesus, I did not. How are you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> he's been practicing his ventriloquism he's yeah. damn good at it that, that's why i was like oh you can talk with the can but then like the feed came back and i was like oh it all makes sense now but you, that, that the beauty of guard. doing a podcast over the internet <laughs> yeah yep yeah, for sure all right i'm on your host josh the bar and i am tim wagner and we're and going to do this Thanksgiving special up here on the Real AF TV yeah, yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim, crazy enough, if my research was correct, one year ago we launched the video podcast to the public with Ooh. the Thanksgiving special. Isn't that crazy to think nice. about? It feels like it's been so much longer. There is the video. The, yeah. It's been well, going longer than that for sure. But this is like the, like, this was like the official, hey, we're on YouTube now, and it's a video feed. It's not just audio. Well, Let's we were go. doing it for a long time before that, right? Yeah. We had put in we a just, few episodes for sure yeah, as we, we had, locked yeah. down our technique, and we yep. were putting it behind the Patreon wall. So, hey, there you go, patreon.com slash TV. Remember, real like fish and real. You can go over there. You can get those old episodes for only $1 a month. That's They're right. All there. You can pay trying. $1 here in November and then just dip out and you can see all whatever, I don't know, that's right. eight or 10 episodes we did. $1, that would, you know, if you want to support us that way, that's great. Or if you want to support us uh, for free, like and subscribe on everything, everywhere that yeah. you can, yeah. you know, all that iTunes, good jazz. Spotify, oh, Pandora now, don't forget. YouTube. YouTube. We're all yeah. over there, man. Look us up. Real AFTV. Remember, real, like fish and real, R-E-E. -E. L. <laughs> all right, Tim. Well, we don't do any ads or anything, so we're just going to jump right into the podcast. But I did bring some quick fishing news, as is tradition on the podcast. Yep. Did you see this big-ass snapping turtle that was fucking with some anglers? No. Uh-uh. What? Like okay, screwing dude. with anglers? Yeah, not like it wasn't it wasn't totally messing with them, but it definitely threw them off their game. So I actually saw it in a couple different places, but I'm going to put the link in the uh, comment or in the notes of the YouTube video okay. like I usually do. This one just goes to CBS News. You know, it's just it's like a feed, I think, to the local channel 11 or something like that. But uh, so these people were fishing near Brainerd and. They're just hanging one of those black... Dude, it's what you have in the crappie video on the YouTube channel right now. Our, the crappie spawn video. Yeah. That basket that you're using in that. It's that exact oh. black net basket. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's explain like it, it more just... for people who haven't watched the crappie video because I'm sucking yeah. right now. I, I've always called them a fish basket. And yeah. it's like a, okay. the lid. It's yeah. It's it's like an old school basket. It's made of metal. It's like coated with like a black, um, you know, whatever to like stop it from rusting. Something. Yeah. And then uh, the top, the lid is like buoyant, so yeah. the, it it floats right at the lid, and the rest of the basket's in the water. So it's like having a live well because you're just keeping the fish in the water, basically. Yeah. But and it hangs, and yeah, so it just hangs off well. the side of the boat. The that was the part yeah. I couldn't get my brain around. Like I couldn't get it out. You were right. The buoyant lid. Yeah, it keeps it floating while the rest of the basket hangs in the water, and the fish just live in there, and they can't yep. get out of the basket. And so, yeah. dude, this giant snapping turtle swims right up to that basket, <laughs> and it's just like I'm taking your shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. 
Turtles are like that, man. I've I haven't had a basket incident, but definitely like we caught uh, some pike and put them on the stringer and left it. Yep. Because I think I've said it on here before, where I've mm-hmm. had the mm-hmm. like bowfin eat my sunfish, but a, mm-hmm. a pike, you're like, oh, the pike's not going to get ate by anything. Right. Wrong. Turtle yeah. comes up and like snaps that shit. You know, like it. You almost feel bad when you wake up in the morning because you're like, that thing definitely didn't die. Bite one. Right. You know? Right. That thing Holy got ate alive. Shit, dude. <laughs> and yeah, oh and you wake God. up and there's just like the head like still on because we had a old school metal stringer. The the mm-hmm. stringer that the dogfish or, you know, we call them dogfish, bullfin, whatever you want to call them. Mm-hmm. That stringer is like, it's like a keychain loop on the one side with like a long metal point and then the rest of it's like a nylon rope yeah so you yep. put that you put that thing through the gill and then the other thing through the the keychain loop and then you yep. just pull it tight well this one because it was a pike and it has teeth and stuff it's like a metal chain and then it has like a big oh. like safety pin like the swivels like the mini swivels that you would have like the safety pin swivel yeah like the but thing like that you put on the end version. of your fishing line to switch lures quickly Yes, exactly. But it's like or like amplified giant. Yeah, yeah. It's just a really big version of that. And then okay. you can put that through the gill of the northern and then clip it shut. Okay. So it's like held here. But then yep. it can still swim, but it can't bite through shit because it's metal. Right. And we woke up in the morning and it was just a head left. <laughs> they ate the whole thing except for the head. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, so I could tell totally see that. <laughs> but I've never had one try to like mess with one like behind the steel cage. Yeah. That's like the story of like where you see the j- sharks going after the divers in the cage. In, oh, dude. You know, you're, <laughs> that what is you what just shark? happened to those fish. You're not taking a shark to do cage, this. dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're supposed to be safe. We're in a cage. And the turtle's just like, I don't give a shit about your cage. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't say they got eaten, but it's a very quick story that I was just like, you know what? Yeah. This thing's blowing up. It's it's getting a lot of attention. I'm just going to bring it up on the podcast quick and Thanksgiving special because it's pretty rad. You'll see the news team will talk about it and the news team talks about it and they um, show the, the photos and stuff like that. Yeah. It, it's funny. I think we're getting invaded. That's like the, I don't know if you can hear it at all. That's like the fourth helicopter that flew over. Oh, I can't hear it. We can't. Uh, hear we have a hospital here in town, so right. helicopters fly over every once in a while. But I'm telling you, that was like the fourth one in a row. It was like there's brrr, not, there's not four letter. medevac <laughs> helicopters in the entire state. I don't uh, think. Uh, and so even that if is one not what's like, flying over. No, that's why I was like, even if one flew over, then they'd fly back. Maybe if they made real good time. So you're like, okay, right. That same helicopter went that way and then that way, right. I don't know. We're getting invaded. I don't know. <laughs> or there's a high speed oh, chase on the highway. Yeah. And hopefully that's loops. not yeah, hopefully that's not a real yeah, hopefully it is like high speed chase. Hopefully that's not a real thing and like we make it in a montage someplace. <laughs> we're just like the day that it all happened, we're just like one of those guys, you know, like it's me right. just going, Are we getting invaded? And then you know, there's just like all this like montage clip together of all these people just going, right. What's that? And like two minutes later, my window's going to get busted in. And I go like, oh, no. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> we live in infamy on the clip of like, those are our final <laughs> Those are the final <laughs> But you're like far enough away that they like go after St. Cloud first. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you're just sitting on the other end, just <laughs> having to go along yeah. with the podcast. So yeah. uh, I guess I'm doing this by myself. Uh, I like to eat turkey. <laughs> so turkey guys am i right yeah <laughs> comment on the youtube in the <laughs> turkey <laughs> that's that's a good segue though because like this it's gonna be kind of loosey-goosey i guess which we kind of do on the holiday specials anyway but i was just thinking to myself when i was like writing up topics to chat about and yeah. we won't go two hours for anybody who's around normally and goes like, you guys always talk for two hours. We're not going to do that. We're going to go with normal or holiday short. So anyways, thinking about this, I was like conversation starters, I think, is how I'm thinking about this podcast. I'm just going to bring stuff up. 
All and right. hopefully the listeners now have new topics to go to Thanksgiving with. And then also we're just going to talk too. But I was like, oh yeah, you got to spend time with family, right? You, you, okay, maybe you listen to this podcast on Monday when it drops. Remember we're a bi-weekly podcast. Every other Monday we come out. And you know, on that Monday, you're like, well, cool. Got something new to bring to the table. Literally bring to the table. Oh, snap. Boom. <laughs> Cornucopia history. Let's do some history, Tim. Everybody loves it when I do the history. Let's do it. Oh, love it. <laughs> Cornucopia. I'm curious. Isn't that... Let's talk about it. That's why I, I was hoping you were going to say you were curious because you... It was like, there's one iconic thing besides a turkey mm -hmm. and pumpkin pie. <laughs> so right. Okay. Third, uh, third thing is the third. cornucopia of Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. I was always like, what is the deal with that thing? Because half the time they look like shit. They're always these fake, weird, weaved baskets. Yeah, That's it's a wicker perception. bugle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's with this wicker bugle? Yeah, what is with this wicker bugle? And by bugle, I don't mean like the old school trumpet. I'm talking like the corn chips you put on your fingers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's where mine went. That's where my that's, mind went. That's so. right. That's where everybody's mind goes. <laughs> Give them to a kid. Tell them nothing. See what happens. They make a out of it. <laughs> Dude, just how it goes. <laughs> shim, 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 shim. I have claws. And Shit, then they yeah, bite the do. tips off, and then they start making uh -huh. music with the other end. <laughs> like, it's a, like it's a fucking horn. <laughs> That's bad. Maybe that's how you figure out if your uh, kid's a genius. <laughs> you put them down 99% of the kids, put them on their fingers. The one percentage is like, these are really cool uh, cornucopia chips, mom. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, put them in, in the special classes. This kid's <laughs> going places. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Get a genius on my hands. <laughs> he didn't make hands with them. <laughs> no. He, he used the word. <laughs> he is five, and he said cornucopia. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, like the smart people are listening to it, and they're just like, <laughs> "Took him to he was five to say cornucopia." <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> I'm okay, you're counting on my fingers how many syllables? Cornucopia, five syllable word. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the na, na, na. how many times did my chin go cornucopia? <laughs> I've never heard that one. Before. No, yeah, no. That, that was that was. I remember that being in like grade school. That's how we were taught to like tell the syllables. Is it like put your hand under your chin, and every time your chin goes down, that's when you know it's a syllable. Like if you're if you're having a hard time, like if you're too thick. To get what we're talking about with syllables, like do da na na na. Every time you feel the mouth go down, that's another syllable. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know we were gonna get into English his lessons. Yeah, too. my bad. I'm just English like, and yeah. history. Shit. <laughs> yeah, we're all about learning over here. I was going to the not special, like not. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's like a. It's weird because like you say special school and you're like which. Uh, am I talking? <laughs> you leave that up to the audience to interpret. Right. <laughs> That's art, baby. <laughs> okay. All right. Cornucopia. Back to cornucopia. It is horn of plenty. That's what it means. Oh, yes. Yes. You're like, okay. I did know that. Did you? Shit. Yes. How, why the hell do you know that? <laughs> I do. I don't remember. It's like, that's just what they called it. The Horn of Plenty. I remember oh, okay. that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. It's, I, it's weird how your brain will just like remember shit like that. Right. Like I read it now. Yeah. Like, it's mm -hmm. like, if you would, if you would have said it, like mm -hmm. what is another thing that they say for cornucopia? I would have been like, no clue. But you say Horn of Plenty. I go, oh yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but other than that, no, I know that it has a bunch of stuff in it. It's like a good, yeah. it's like the centerpiece. Yeah. Yeah. You and know? that's pretty much it's, all it is. It's always been, I mean, it didn't really say that it was always a centerpiece, but it's Greek for horn of plenty because like Greek. Zeus's goat mother 
gave him a horn and filled it up <laughs> and it fed him mother. the whole time. I was like, what? dude, that's another one we got to do some other time. This is like Greek mythology, like weird Greek mythology. <laughs> I'll take the helm on that one. Just come in and I'll just talk. There's yes. so much weird shit. Yes. We can do that as a random take. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I did not know it was Greek. See, that's new. I didn't know that. Yeah. Because why? Why would it be Greek? I know. None I just of, wouldn't like, think it would have went back that far. It just didn't seem like, I mean, if you think about it, Greeks are one of the first, like in civilization history to have plenty. You know what I mean? It's not like. True. It's not like the Mongols didn't conquer a whole ton of Asia and Europe and, you know. and Yeah. But, like, the first time, if you look back in your history lessons, you think of, like, now what society really had, like, a lot before modern society? And you'd just be like, the Greeks, the Romans. And you'd just be like, that, like, they did, they did it. Yeah. And so... Either way, it has to do something with, you know, Greek God and it, the horn was had so much food in it that it just fed Zeus until he was able to eat his, you know, until he was able to get his own food or whatever. But oh. it was it's still the tradition is that it was a goat horn, that it is a goat horn and that you do fill it with fruits and grains and everything. So like the harvest, right? Yeah. So okay. it just kind of makes that natural transition. Thanksgiving is about the harvest and stuff like right. that. Right. Yes. I guess everybody wussed out and stopped using fucking goat horns. Using a real goat horn. They're like, oh, we don't want to scare anybody. I suppose it probably <laughs> wasn't the most appetizing thing either. They're like, yeah. make, I can't make imagine a... having a goat or, horn on the table. I mean, when you think about a goat horn too, what can you fit in it? Like an apple? That's what I was going to say too, though. But like, <laughs> what's the, why would a goat horn, like, in comparison to what a cornucopia is today, a goat horn is fucking tiny. You drink out of a goat horn, right? Like, yeah, exactly. Skull. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It'd just be like, uh, I don't, I'm sure it was like pretty quick where they're just like, it's tradition to goat horn. It's just like, can we just like make one? Out of something because right. we can't put shit in this, and they go, "Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea." But I'm I'm surprised it was it's Greek because it was like, I mean, back then the mm -hmm. settlers that did the whole Thanksgiving, it was mostly like Spaniards, and wasn't it? Uh, no, or like it that's was, it's I like mean, that's, it was a different. It was like a sect of Christianity. Okay. Like the pilgrims were, but these the, the pilgrims the, well, didn't yes, really the pilgrims. do it. That's like, right. The, yeah, that's what I pilgrims. read up. It, it, I'm I was thinking like Christopher Columbus. I, I oh, I'm in the yeah, I'm yeah. in the wrong era. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Yes. You're not too far off, but yeah, not I too far off. Going, but yes, like, the pilgrims. You're talking about the first ships to to hit and go back. Yeah. 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 No, the pilgrims were trying to get the fuck out of there. They were like, I don't want to live over there anymore. Right. I'm done. So they're just they're just like bringing old traditions. Yeah. That everybody else use. That makes sense. I mean, it's the same thing as us. Like now everybody's yep. like, you know, what are the two pictures you see when you go to the grocery store or that they have people color? That's what I always remember. Is like the kids coloring. No, like the there was always like the grocery store, like the local grocery store. They probably don't do it in the big towns in big cities as much. Okay. But we grew up in a smaller town and the like local grocery store would always have like a coloring contest. Yeah. Okay. And it'd be like a picture of a turkey or a picture of a cornucopia. And then you, yeah. uh, you know, and they do the same thing for like Easter and everything. Oh, it'd yeah. It'd be like, yeah, color this sure. bunny, color this cornucopia. <clears throat> yep. So like you'd always see that like cornucopia, you know, like Halloween would end. Yep. And you take down your like weird, you know, like, uh, uh, like cardboard. What do they call it? Like tag board. You know, yep. back in the day, like all decorations were like, oh, yep. I took down my tag board skulls and yep. black cats for my <laughs> cornucopias and turkeys. Yep. You know? <laughs> yeah. It so was. The, the like the uh, fancy construction paper. <laughs> yeah, right. The thick That's stuff. That's what tag board is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The good the good stuff where it's just like, don't crease it. And then it have those like weird like brass 
clips hinges. on the cats where you could like, I can move his legs a little bit for yep. how I want to put him in the put window. tail up like it's really angry. Yeah. Now, like kids don't get it, dude. The decorations, the neighbors have giant inflatables, everything. Everything. Like Halloween comes, it's like giant ghost, giant skeleton, you know, yep. giant everything. Yep. Halloween's over. Now they got giant turkey, a giant turkey wearing a chef's outfit. I don't know what the fuck that one's about. Why the turkey's like, uh, he's, he's going like, to I'm the chef. Yeah, I'm not. You're not killing me. It's I'm the one that cuts up the food. Don't kill me. And then just, <laughs> I see you, turkey. You're going down. <laughs> I, can just, <laughs> I don't know who comes up with this shit. <laughs> I just always love thinking about the like creative room and the creative process. It's just like there's a company yep. that makes giant inflatables. And they're just like, we have a giant inflatable. What we should what we do? Well, we already got the turkey, you know? Yeah, and it'd yeah. be like a lot of work to try to come up with something else. Maybe like we just put a chef's outfit on the turkey. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> Roger gets the big room at the cabin this year. <laughs> you know, <I> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, that's that is good. Okay. Oh. Anyways, that's enough about yes. cornucopias. That's enough cornucopias. Yes, we learned yeah. it's Greek. Yeah, it was a goat horn, and they filled it with stuff. Come on, goat horns don't hold enough, and who wants to look at that on the table? So, it changed. Right, kept it growing changed. and changing throughout Europe. Made Came a goat here, horn whatever. out of wicker. <laughs> now it's a goat horn out of wicker. There you go. And there you go. <laughs> it's a big ass goat horn. Uh, Tim. I yep. we're gonna we're gonna start jumping into food now, but here's we're we're also gonna talk about football, but we'll do football later. We'll wrap it up with football. Here's the thing. Um before we make that transition into food, yeah. I wanted to show you and give the people a little preview. Next podcast. We better do it. We gotta oh, do it. Oh hell yeah, dude. I'm gonna send it your way. It gave me a little bit of a a hesitation on the thing. It was really suspenseful. You were like lifting up your hand and then it froze for a second. And I was like, what is it? And now I see it. Aqua Teen for got the new Aqua Teen movie, dude. We are, we got to do. Did you we're gonna, hear our anything of the soundtrack? Podcast. What's that? Did you hear anything of the soundtrack? No. I know that Run the Jewels did the like original trailer. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And they're, and they're singing. Aqua Teen Hunger, they're like singing about them. It's not like a Run the Jewels song. It is Run the Jewels doing an Aqua talking Teen about song. Aqua Teen. And it wasn't the Aqua Teen song, but they're talking about no, Meat Wild and yeah. Shake and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's all okay. I know too. I'm going to see. But I that, wonder if it's on Spotify. I'm going to just, I'm going to look that up. <laughs> yeah. And dude, that's all I know for sure. But I was like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. Like this is legit. It was, it was dope. <laughs> it yeah. Was super yeah. Dope. <laughs> So I got the movie. It has a digital and a Blu-ray, which means we can we can make that work. I'm gonna try to get that up to you in time, so that way the next podcast that comes out after the Thanksgiving special, a random take is gonna be fucking Aqua Teen, Aqua Teen movie. Oh hell yeah, dude. yeah, dude. So let's jump into Thanksgiving food. Now that we got Thanksgiving gifts out of the way, <laughs> which is thank you <laughs> to Adult Swim for releasing that. Um, I randomly picked up how to cook a pumpkin. I've always oh. wondered what the fuck. How does the pumpkin in a can yeah. work? How does it work? I didn't look this up. Random comment came through on, I think I was an Andrew Zimmer. I think it was Andrew Zimmerman. Yeah, I'm pretty okay. sure it was. Either way, I'm watching some random cooking video, right? Yep. I'm pretty sure it was Andrew Zimmerman. And it was <laughs> Andrew Zimmerman or Andrew. Why do I always doubt myself? I think it's I just Zimmer. Jim, it's just Andrew Zimmer. Right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, when you said Zimmerman, I was like, uh, that's not right. Zimmer. Yeah. And that, I always do that in my when I'm on the mic. Anyways, that's some behind the scenes mental shit. When I get on the mic, I. I know what I'm trying. I'm Andrew Zimmer and I'm a culinary, you know, there. See, I got it. Anyways. <laughs> right, right. Hey, hold on real quick. Side tangent. 
Let's do That's it. not that bad. Not that big of a deal. Not like that one guy. Have you seen the ring doorbell of like the worst fuck up I've ever seen as far as English goes? Mm. When he goes up to a door, I believe it's a white dude. Okay. And he, there's like the ring doorbells recording and it's a black guy that answers the door. Yeah. And he's talking about like, uh, I think he's like a cable guy or whatever. And he's oh, saying okay. like, he's doing like his sales pitch. Yeah. And he's just like, we're just going around and meant to say talking to neighbors. Oh. And says the N word. No. And the guy just, yeah, dude. <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> the guy, and the guy just goes, like the the dude, the black dude says nothing, and the other guy just goes, "Oh, dude!" Like as soon as he says it, he's like, oh, "I'm sorry about that, man. I didn't mean to." And the guy like just goes back inside, and the <laughs> other guy is just like, it's just, oh. and he kind of like stutter steps, like he doesn't know what to do, and then he just ends up like walking away. But it's like, what Jesus. else could you do? Oh, dude, I don't know, man. That's the worst slip up I've ever heard. That's the. I don't even I, feel bad about no, that now. I love because there's so many like <laughs> Zimmers and Zimmermans and all that stuff like around. Like you know, we I grew up in an area with that. Like there, that sort of name just exists around here, and so like, yeah, I get in my own head and I just let it come out, <laughs> and then I start saying. going like, oh man, I'm wrong, and I say it again like to double down, and then I go, no, you're wrong. Right. Right. Yeah. But it's just like you just that. added man onto Zimmer. No big deal. Right, right. This guy tried to say neighbors and said N words. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing he could have possibly said. To Literally. There's nothing worse you could have said. <laughs> and just so nonchalant about it. <laughs> just like, oh my gosh. Whoops. Um, yeah. Whoop. Okay. Jeepers, creepers. Anyways. So. Yeah. I, th- I think I learned how to f- cook pumpkin. And no, I definitely learned how to cook pumpkin. There was this a random yeah. comment in this video, and I didn't look up a recipe of like how to turn a pumpkin into a fucking canned pumpkin, right? Right. <laughs> because I was so confident in it. Last year, I shared, well, I think actually in the last two years, I've shared the squash risotto. And yes. How like, yeah, me and my wife have brought that to. Yep as a new tradition to Thanksgiving. Oh, and so? I was just like, always keeping that in the back of my head and never curious enough about how to turn a pumpkin into canned pumpkin or how to turn a pumpkin into pumpkin pie. I'm like, it's pumpkin. How do you turn a pumpkin into pumpkin pie? That does yeah. not look like pumpkin in any way, shape or form. What the fuck is going on? I've always been curious. <laughs> Happens once a year. Time flies and you never look it up. And then all of a sudden he goes, just cut up the pumpkin, put it in the oven. I'm like, God damn it. Yeah. Squash. It's a squash, yeah. isn't it? That's what I was thinking. Like as soon I've never really thought about cooking pumpkin. Yeah. But as soon as you said it, I was like, I bet I basically try to cut it like a pizza from the top. So the pieces are manageable. And then I just lay all those wedges on their side exactly what i was thinking of doing once he said put it in the oven i was like so we cut that squash in half for the risotto and i looked it up a pumpkin is a squash yes. yeah i'm just gonna cut also, that thing into into like when you get one of those oranges that you slam down those chocolate oranges and they fall oh yeah boom oh, you can just totally. do that hell yeah <laughs> exactly exactly no that you also know fun fact like it's a squash, but did you know also that the pumpkin is the world's largest fruit? No, it's a, really, it's a fun fact. If anybody, yeah, you're trying to mess with somebody, yeah, That's, yeah. What's That's... the world's largest fruit? They go, oh, shit, I don't know, a grapefruit. No, pumpkin, bitch. They get to be like 150 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't touching the pumpkin. Pumpkin's untouchable. Nothing else even yeah. comes close. There's no way. And that's the uh, other, that was also what sent me down a little rabbit. I'm like, oh yeah, there's like green pumpkins, white pumpkins, yellow pumpkins. Now there's all kinds of pumpkins now. What the yeah. fuck is going on there? That has to be a squash because squash comes oh, for in sure. fucking shape and size and mostly dick shapes, but. <laughs> right. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> 
and they're like big at the bottom. <laughs> like, dick like ball shapes. Dick and ball, dick and balls. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. But and, and, and pumpkins look like butts sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what weird fruit. <laughs> I had to show my son that we were like picking pumpkins this year. And I go like, Becca, come here quick. And he comes over and I go, look at this one. It looks like a butt. He just goes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and then nice. he has to run and tell my wife, mom, come here. <laughs> Running through the pumpkin patch, all the people are around. And he's like, mom, this one looks like a butt. Like uh-huh. a- <laughs> but he has got to wait until she gets right there for the unveiling. Kid yes. can't say it first as soon as she gets there. Ready? Look, it's a butt. <laughs> it's like, shit, yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, butt. Dude. <laughs> oh yeah, man. But yeah, dude, I've never I've never tried to cook a pumpkin. I've never even thought about yeah. cooking a pumpkin before. Me neither. And I probably would more because I think squash is really good. I like squash. Yeah. Like the okay. butternut squash, but my mm-hmm. wife is not a fan, so I haven't really had it since I was a kid. Because I don't oh. make it much. But you ever cook squash? Like you just cut it up and then like sprinkle some brown sugar on it, cook it in the oven, and then just oh. eat it like that? No. we So for the risotto, we just put salt, pepper, and, and yeah. cook it up. And so I've had it that way only like only to test it, right? Say like, yeah. oh, yeah, it's good and eat it. But no, I've never cut it up. Even though we do leave some chunks in there, you got to like it's covered in butter and fucking... At that yeah. point, it's got the broth in it and everything like that. So, no, nothing more than a bite. But I yeah, think if I would you like it, if you take like the butternut squash and you chop it up and then you put like some brown sugar and butter on it, and then just bake it like that, it's good. And that's it, it's, just brown sugar and butter. Yeah, it's like almost like a, it's almost like a dessert. It's like yeah. a savory. It's like a sweet and savory. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's. It, I don't even know how to explain it. There's not really anything else like it, you know. Yeah. You got. You almost got to experience it because it's yeah. kind of like, it's kind of like a pumpkin pie, sure. But it's also kind of like you're eating, like something starchy, savory, like a potato, like a sweet potato, like almost. A sweet potato, almost. Yeah. Yeah. So it's different. It's but it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't that had down. that in a long time. Oh, yeah, dang. it's good shit. That was something we always had at my my house when I was a kid. But my oh, really? wife, my wife's not adventurous like that. Yeah, it was like a fall thing. It was like every once in a while. Sure. My mom would make it, then everybody eat it. You know, you all get your own chunk. Get your own chunk. Oh, you like it. yeah. You just like eat it out the rind with nice. a fork. Yeah. Yeah, because you could cut it. You could probably just cut it and like cut the dick into four slices, or five <laughs> yeah. slices, yeah. or whatever. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Nice. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm using the wrong one. Maybe it wasn't a butternut. Well, it's a darker one. Whatever that squash is. Darker on the outside? Yeah, it wasn't like a dick oh. shape. Oh. It was like when you cut it, it was almost like a like a pumpkin shape, but it was different. I don't know. Interesting. I'll have to look into it. Now it kind of makes me want to go like, I wonder if a pumpkin, if that would work on pumpkin then, because think about what you put inside a pumpkin pie. I bet it would. Yeah. Huh. My dog likes to eat it, the pumpkin raw. Right. Because I'll shave out the insides and the shit falls on the ground. And then she just comes over and snatches it up. Like, oh, I like something. that. No way. Yeah. I thought I'll you were talking you about the, pumpkin out of can. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's all. That's definitely no. something you got to feel. Yeah. Because when I'm cleaning the pumpkin, when I'm, you know, I use that clay tool to shave the inside. Yeah. Uh huh. And I just go, dude. I'm just. Choom, right. Choom, 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 choom. Every once in a while, a piece goes, choom, and flies over my shoulder or whatever. Yeah. And then the dog comes and snatches the it dog up. Dog just snatches it up, huh? Yep. And <laughs> then my son will be like, "I mean, no," and I'll be like, "Dude, it's fine. Fine. It's, you it's know, food." He's all like protective of it, just like, "No, we don't let her eat food." And I'm like, "Yeah, like people food, no, because we don't want her to beg for it." Right. But this is like the inside of a pumpkin. It's right. Like the healthiest snack I'm ever gonna drop off this table. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than the the extra hot. Spicy Doritos. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> she won't eat those though. I have dropped those before. Oh. When there's when they're super spicy, sniff, right? she's like dog tries nose? To, Yeah. Well, n- not even the nose. I think she tries it a little bit, like goes to bite it and then just like reels back. <laughs> and, oh Jesus. Oh fuck. Yeah. I made a mistake. <laughs> right. <laughs> huh. 
yeah, this has been a good, this is, this is the kind of conversation that like, like again, conversation starters that I was talking about like at yeah. the beginning, because I never thought of that before about just putting sugar on the squash. Like, okay, I could try that. And then yeah. it just evolves into like, maybe I will get a little pumpkin because <clears throat> There's different kinds of pumpkins. Like the same pumpkin that you buy to carve is not the same breed of pumpkin that grows to be 600 and whatever in the fuck pounds. It has to be moved around on a, uh, by a f- fucking forklift. You know, it's not the right. same breed of pumpkin. There are different ones out there. But this year, when we we bought a little pumpkin for my daughter, yeah, to see if she would make a jack o' lantern this year, and it was called a sugar pumpkin. Mm. Yeah. So it I, makes me now think, like, huh? Yeah, is it legitimately like sweeter? Like this I don't is know. the one you want to get. I should have tried eat. it. Like I should have abbied that thing. I should have just like your dog. <laughs> I should have just taken a little chunk out and tried it because. Yeah. But I never thought about it. I've never thought about pumpkin as food, other than the pumpkin in a can. And now this conversation we're having right now is just like perpetuating so many thoughts. It's like a fucking yeah. I'm just trying to wheel in there right now in my brain. Yeah, I mean, I like I know pumpkin pie and stuff, but I never thought about eating it like a squash either. Yeah, which is weird. I think it's probably because I've cleaned it so many times that the inside is so unappealing looking. That's what I think it is for me too. Where you're just like, right? Oh, dude, this is just gnarly. But once you clean yeah. it out, there is like, you know, an inch and a half of flesh where you're like, well, yeah, I suppose that's food, right? Because I don't think they're doing anything with that slime, are they? Or maybe they are. Maybe that's how you get the texture. I don't know. I don't that's know, kind of dude. what I was going to ask you is like, cause you worked with pumpkins more than I have. I mean, I've yeah. done my share of jack-o'-lanterns over the years. Don't go, don't get me wrong. I've, I've yeah. got my hands dirty there, but like you're a food guy, you're a pumpkin guy. And I just wonder what your, I was like, one of the questions I was going to ask, like, what is your perspective on it? If you were to cut, if you were to try this, no look right now, just kind of like what we're doing, we're spitballing. Would you leave the guts on it? What would you do? No, I don't think so. No, because when I ate the squash too, it was only the flesh on the inside. And I don't know. I don't remember if you have to clean it like a pumpkin. I don't know if it's the same. I would assume it's the same stringy like there's seeds and stuff. Yeah. But I remember it just being like the, you have like the rind with the flesh on the inside and that was it. Yeah. And then you cook it up. So I don't think I would because also just like that's got to be fine disgusting bro <laughs> it's gross to put your hands it. into it like i know with the texture and then i'm supposed to eat it yeah and it's yep. all stringy right. like you can grab onto it it's like squishy Ugh. stringy Ugh. it sounds like it would feel no. like hair in your mouth that's what yeah I mean. yeah but- like wet gross hair yeah. <laughs> like hair like hair that has shampoo in it <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Leave a comment in the YouTube videos if you eating pumpkin guts out there. <laughs> yeah. Or leave a comment when you come back because you just heard that and you were like, Ugh, and shut it off for a second. I <laughs> can't do this right now. <laughs> Trying to eat your breakfast or something. <laughs> <laughs> Not now. <laughs> but you just reminded me the squash, which I think is butternut that we use. I don't know. Um, for sure. But I, I know it when I see it, right? Yeah. And so that squash, I'm now in in the balls part of it. It does have that little bit of pumpkinness to it where there's the um like sort of stringy and some seeds. And then the rest okay. is all just flesh. But right there down in the there in the round part of it, there are some. So yeah, we take that out when we do it. So totally take the guts out of the pumpkin and then cook it. Huh. Yeah. I don't I was just trying to Google like I think this is a dead end right now. I thought maybe <laughs> it would pop I thought like an image would just pop up where I just go like squash and it'd just be like this kind. Oh, I gotcha. Cause you're trying to find that other squash. But yeah, with ours, it's very small in the squash that we get for the risotto. It's a very small pocket, but it may yeah. be like until you said it, I totally forgot about it because we cooked the fucking thing once a year. And I've, so that means I've cooked it three times in my entire life and I forgot about it. So, yeah, clean, we clean it out. We scrape it yeah. out a little bit. And then, yeah, so don't 
do it. Don't eat the flesh. I mean, don't eat the the, the stringy hair yeah. inside the pumpkin. I just don't I think just, that'd be the right thing to do. Yeah, kind of want to get one now, though. Like, I kind of want it. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna say just by looking at this, like the the winter squash. We either always ate acorn squash or buttercup squash. Buttercup because it was like a darker oh. green on the outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was acorn the one I've, found like a, of, I've heard of before. So I, I think it might have been an acorn. Acorn looks like it'd be the right kind. Or acorn too. Are they probably acorn convict muse? Convict muse. <laughs> They say that before they go in the oven every time. Yep. <laughs> As I'm cutting it up, just like letting it know. I keep a 40 cat on my side. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it Acon Squash. You just start singing Acon songs. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, Tim. <laughs> I feel like you just thought of something in your head while you're taking a drink of water and you're just like, yeah, it's just... I'm just singing more of the song. Just singing more. <laughs> I just, I was laughing like, cause you don't hear yourself a lot, you know, and I'm mm-hmm. mic'd up mm-hmm. and I got, and I hear myself and I just sing and I was like, Hey, you know, I think I was a couple octaves lower, but I, that was pretty close. I was it's like, good. no warm up. That was, <laughs> it was really good. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was exactly how it was your perfect interpretation of <laughs> anybody who hears your tiger voice and then hears that goes yep that's how that kind of sound. <laughs> okay okay segue segue no segue i'm saying segue <laughs> for a segue <laughs> ghosts of thanksgiving past is what i have written down here on the title because i want to I want to share a, a haunting, something that's haunting me this year. I got axed from making the turkey this year. Oh, damn. Have you been making it other years? I think two. I think the last two years. Okay. And I got the. And somebody else just stepped nope, up. We just want that plain old turkey. Oh, oh you been making something special. Damn it. So last year, yeah, dude. Last year we went in. You went in big time. Yeah. And we can talk about that later in a little bit here. But well, you you can kind of fill in the details. But last year you went in and and you were just talking about like how you took Gordon Ramsay's and test kitchens and like you've been doing the butter stuff and all this. So I actually took some of that into Thanksgiving last year and did the bacon thing, which was a huge hit, of course. Why not? Bacon, it's great, right? Mine didn't turn out like yours because I was also combining other recipes. But the big thing is I, we made herb butter. So I shouldn't say me because it was me and my wife. We made it, we made herb butter, right? Like we took Mm -hmm. the fresh rosemary and we put, took the fresh thyme and all this. We took the butter and we jammed it underneath the skin and stuff like that. Uh huh. Apparently it was not well accepted. What? Dude, that's basically what I did. I know. And everybody at where I was, dug it yeah i don't think i i don't think it went quite according to plan but the flavor was there yeah i don't remember everything about it but i think the texture was a little bit off like the skin didn't get crisp because i think i did too many things at once yeah but it was also my first year at doing it and it was very well accepted like everybody was like this is good turkey like the turkey was not dry yeah that's what everybody said like you that was the story that you told on the podcast was that it was great yeah yeah <laughs> and you're they weren't having it huh what do they want they just the want earth. dried out shit they did yeah basically i got told that oh no we just want the turkey that whereas i was that we always have and i'm like dry fucking shitty turkey so we talked about basting last year right elton brown yeah basically saying like don't baste that's a waste of time it's opening the oven it's leaving the heat out it's it's a fucking joke it doesn't really work and yeah we were like, yeah, that's what we heard. So we don't baste. And I, so, I, you know, only opened it up to take out the, uh, to put the bacon on and stuff like that. Oh, the yeah, feedback I, I got was too. herbs, the herbs. We don't like the herbs in on the meat because it was herb butter and it got in and under. And then it was like, yeah. So you just, so it was a visual thing. 
That's it? I'm not going to dive in. I'm not going to ask my family more questions than that. They just said, don't worry, we got the turkey. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Pregnant pause for a reason there. Whatever. Yeah, dude. I don't know. You'll be back. You'll be back next week or next year. They'll just... (laughs) Unless they don't want to admit it, but they'll just be like, oh, yeah, we were really feeling, you know, I I highly doubt they're just going to be like, we're going to stick with this. We really liked how, you know, it was like dry <laughs> and like not as much flavor. I don't know, man. It's, That's- it's whatever. So people have their own tastes and stuff, too. But I guess it's like what you're eating with it, you know, maybe sure. maybe they're like, sure. I want a reason to drown it in gravy. You know, I don't look like a monster if you make the turkey dry and then I have to drown it in gravy. Nobody gives me shit when my turkey's swimming in gravy if right, it's a right. little bit dry. But if it's moist and it's delicious, then I look like a weirdo when I cover it in gravy. I don't know. Eh, you know, it's yeah. whatever. Yep. I know. That's it. People people are their own thing. That's what I've, I'm uh, the same way. I made that turkey for a friend's giving. Yeah. And it was well received. I yep. have tried to say I will make my turkey for my family. And they're just like, oh, I don't know. Mm, eh, I think we'll just make it like this. And it's just like, great. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Just this dried out yep. horse shit turkey. <laughs> right. I, mean, I said it last year. My mom doesn't cook it well and nobody says anything otherwise. And I say it on here because she's never going to listen to it because I swear. <laughs> and she doesn't like it when I swear. So I know she's never going to hear it. Maybe my dad will listen to it. But I'm a better cook than you guys. Sorry. <laughs> you should let me take over. But I don't get the chance. I don't get the opportunity. <laughs> you know so why That was actually cook? one of my questions yeah. I was going to ask you. Is like I got stiffed this year on, <laughs> on the turkey idea. Did you ever get the opportunity to cook that the I've never bird had, for him? No, I never had the opportunity to cook the bird for them. I even said, like, I can take over the turkey. And my mom, like, it never got around to it. But they're like, no, I think we'll, like, make the turkey now. But, like, maybe you can make it, like, a turkey for us, like, after, like, Christmas or something. Like, we just do it in, like, January. Like, oh, yeah, I'll make a whole turkey for four people. You know, it's just like, what are we doing? During prime ice fishing time. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm supposed to waste my whole weekend. Like, you know how long this takes? Like, it's okay to do it during Thanksgiving because I'm trying to show off for everybody. But <laughs> on, a, on a random, like, Saturday, I mean, is this an audition to get the turkey privileges next year? Or what is this? You know? And it's not even like I'm saying my parents are bad cooks. I would say I have the internet. I, I know how to use the internet. I win in well. the discussion. I, <laughs> I, I have, I have millions of people's trial and error and fails and knowledge at my fingertips, and you right. have old recipes that you're just winging it on. And the turkey <laughs> is clearly like you're just throwing it in the oven until it reads that it's done. Yep. No other prep work has gone into this. Nothing else has been done. Right. It is flavorless and dry. And it's been thawing <laughs> for six days like that's that's the only th- yes. three things you did <laughs> you thought it out properly and then you cooked it so i wouldn't get sick and that's it <laughs> that's it yeah and that's my parents have been that kind of butter? people yeah my parents have been that kind of people too where it's like stuff needs to be well done everything needs to be like right made sure like it's cooked to a good temperature where we won't get sick and it's like right you're ruining your meat <laughs> <laughs> you're destroying it <laughs> you're ruining it we need, we need to get it exactly where it needs to be, and that's it. Let's not <laughs> let it go any further. <laughs> Do Anyways, you have any yes. ghosts of Thanksgiving past? That That's mine that I just, it just happened to me this last week where I just, I, I got denied, and now it haunts me. <laughs> hey, no. I, I, good job. I thought we did well. Right. We really took it to the next level. No, I don't really have anything like that because I've never, I guess mine is like what I just went on the rant about. Right. Mine yeah. is just never getting the opportunity. Yeah. Because I got, I I got denied cook. and you just never even have gotten the opportunity. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm good. Maybe not my first time making a dish, but I learned from my mistakes and I change it around. Right. You right. know, but like yeah. a turkey, I did my research. I looked everywhere. I made sure I knew what I was doing. Right. Like tonight, I'll be 100% honest. I made beef and broccoli for my first time. I never made beef and broccoli oh, before, wow. but my wife likes it. Yeah. So I made homemade beef and broccoli. Yep. And um, it says to use low sodium soy sauce in the mm -hmm. sauce that you mm -hmm. make. Mm -hmm. And that is a critical part. Ah. Because I didn't, and it was way yeah. too salty. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that that was a problem. But yeah. uh, otherwise, it turned out really good because I also used a thin-cut ribeye instead of, oh. like, flank steak or whatever. They nice. make, like, shaved thin ribeye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, like, a really good cut of meat. Nice. And, yeah, it's awesome. Next yeah. time. Okay, it'll be great. Ribeye. Plus, That's our joint because we yeah. do end up over. It always ends up chewy. The steak, yeah, the sauce is good usually, but it, we always fuck up the steak. It always. Gets oh too yeah, chewy. yeah. No, this was it was awesome because the fat, nice. the way like the marbling is and stuff, mm -hmm. when it's thin cut like that, it was mm -hmm. definitely not chewy. And nice. then, um, yeah, because like if you use, I mean, this is like razor thin too. Uh, not razor thin, but it says like use like quarter inch thick pieces that's another thing i gotta get this off my chest right now what the fuck is up with these people putting out these recipes and they put their measurements have you none of you people ever touched a tape measure or a ruler or anything <laughs> do i watch all of them you want like a quarter inch thick and then you look and it's like that is it eighth inch at best <laughs> or or somebody will say you know like they're just like oh we want like a quarter inch thick piece of toast and you're yep. like, that is easily a full inch. Right. What are you people doing? Like right. their measurements as far as size goes, not close <laughs> ever. Is, thickness always seems off. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's ridiculous. Yeah. When you watch them cook it and what they put on there is ridiculous. I also think like shit's regurgitated all the time. You ever try to make a one pot meal and they're just like, use this yep. much liquid and then you cook yep. it and stuff. That liquid is gone. Gone. I always have to add like two extra cups of water to make it work. Every single time. <laughs> like who, where are you guys getting your numbers from? What I is going swear, on here? dude, they're using crock pot measurements. They're using old school crock pot. Like they're trying to turn one pot. They're like, they're skewing the meaning of one pot. And they're, yeah. they're saying they're using a crock pot recipe where it, it's basically sealed and slow simmering where the moisture falls back inside it. Right, and it's on low heat, and they're just like, "Well, we could do that in a pan faster, or we could do that in an instant pot quicker." And it's just it fucks it up every single time. It just yeah. comes out the driest goddamn thing. Is it might as oh, well just be beef jerky, dude? Yeah, yeah for sure. You make a beef and broccoli? No, you make a beef yeah. jerky, motherfucker. Oh yeah, I don't even now. I don't even. I I do everything to the directions, and then right before I put the lid on, I add a cup of water. Right. So I'm like, I know it's going to need it. And right. I come back later and I'm like, I still need to add more water. I added a full cup of water to your recipe and I'm still needing more water. Yeah. And then I look at the reviews and I'm like, are these all fabricated too? There's 200 reviews. They're 4.9 stars. Not a single person is saying, why the fuck don't you have the right amount of water in your recipe? <laughs> Everyone's like, I really like your recipe, but I added a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Like, well, no shit. Like. I don't think you need to tell everybody you added Parmesan know, cheese. Who, yeah, who's hearing that part and then just going, oh, Parmesan cheese, duh. Like, yeah, you sprinkle that shit on everything. Everything. <laughs> Come on. But yeah, dude, I, there's, sorry, that was my rant. Okay. I, uh, liquid good, measurements good. are never right. And actual measurements are never right like what is i don't know yeah and, and it's got to be like regurgitated shit because everybody i never made a recipe that's a one pot recipe that's been the right thing that just was and right I the first time i know yeah or or you have like <laughs> the other ones you see them on like instagram a lot where people are talking about the booze and they're like making a drink now we want to use it ounce of vodka you're just like that's a half a cup at least <laughs> i mean like a half of your glass not a half a cup right half your glass we're talking like you put at least a cup in there right and you didn't even cup... have the flame thingy on there when you turned it upside down what the fuck are you talking yeah you about? didn't have that little tiny nozzle you're not you just i watched the bubbles i watched bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> that's 
Holy shit. Oh. But yeah, anyways, I forgot what I was even talking about. I went on a side rant. I'm just nope, talking that, about that. That was it. We were we were talking about Thanksgiving past and birds and recipes and failed recipes and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Come over to YouTube to see that. So well, no, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna get into we'll get into football here a little bit. I have yeah. I have some I want to's that I want to kick around with you, Tim, quick before like I want to do this. So I I want to make a fish dip. I want to make like, I want to go get a rainbow trout. We talked about adding fish last year because yeah. we talked about uh, steelhead and salmon and all this stuff. And like, that's what we talked about last year, adding fish to the table. Why not? Um, Hell yeah. It was likely there on the first Thanksgiving. Why not do it now? Um, yeah. And we don't because our family doesn't eat fish. The women don't eat fish, whatever. So, yeah. Anyways, um, so I got extra like people. pickled herring at ours where it's in like a jar, but then you only get to open it up for a second. Quick, get your fish out, eat it, yep. and then put the yep. jar back on <laughs> so nobody smells it. Yeah. <laughs> so I was thinking about making like a rain, like a fish dip, getting some rainbow trout, just cooking it up pretty normal, you know, kind of roasting it with garlic and some herbs, you know, same okay. herbs as the bird, just kind of like what we talked about last right. year, except for yeah. what I was thinking yeah. is taking it, off the skin, you know, just getting, just do the flesh part of it only after, after cooking it in the oven, do the flesh part only, get it cold. Yeah, right. And make a, make a cold dip out of it. And I was okay. thinking to myself, club crackers. Yeah. Rainbow trout. Yeah. And the herbs, you know, from, mm -hmm. from cooking it. So it, rosemary thyme, stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Suck it family. Herbs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, take that. <laughs> Putting herbs in my shit, it's good. <laughs> but then I was like, I don't want to. I don't know if I do mayo. I wonder what olive oil would work. Like, what would? What do you think, Tim? What do you think? Kick some ideas around with me here. Let's 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 yeah. go back and forth. Yeah, I mean, well, like you can. I know that oil and fish work well together because, um, you can. You know, sometimes you get the salmon or the um tuna in the pouch or the can. Sometimes it's like packaged in water. Packaged. Other times it's packaged in oil right. and it works as good. It's yummy. That's right. You can just like take it straight out. So you could almost like, if you're trying to, you know, if you're going to make it yourself, yeah, you know, you're, you're probably like cooking it with some oil on there already. You yeah. might have some oil. Plus the fish has oil in it already. Like there's right. the omega threes and what's not and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. oil works because, you know, fish is more, oily, than oily greasy, anyway you know yeah, yeah uh -huh. so oil works right right and then like when you're talking like a salad dressing there's always like oil in that right you know it's like it's like oil plus Italian dressing vinegar is, right plus oh. you know whatever vinegar's else vinegar is a good idea for the dip too yeah because it works like that's what you know vinegar is in like the pickled herring and pickled herring yep. on a cracker is awesome but i suppose Right. If you were, you could almost like take that pickled herring, and just put it. I bet there's a dip out there for that. You know, just using just pickled herring straight up. <laughs> dude, I bet. Like, just dump the whole pickled herring with the like contents of the liquid, and then just like put a cup of mayo in with that, and like stir it up, and then you're Whoa, like, boom, mayo dip. and two two sources of fat. I mean, yeah, two fat yeah, sources. But mayo brings so much flavor to the table too, where olive yeah. oil wouldn't bring any flavor to the table. A little, but not. Right, right. Yeah. But not generally speaking, it's not like a super potent flavor. Right. No, you know? right. It's pretty mellow, but it's got it there, you know, like you eat it with just bread. I love eating bread with the oil. You know, oil you and go pepper to like in a nice restaurant. Yeah, where you got the oil yeah. and the pepper. Yeah. Sometimes they put a little bit of parmesan yeah. in the oil and then that's you just good. loop. So yeah, and that's kind of what I was thinking with the fish thing too. Like that 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 exact moment that moment in food that you're talking about when it went through yeah. my head with the fish I was like how do i make the fish sing but i like the idea of you saying like just you could add some mayo to it and a little zing yeah i want to i want to say like they always you know when you're making a salad dressing and they're trying to make it creamy i want to say that it's always like mayo or maybe like plain greek yogurt oh yeah, yeah dude with like no flavoring you know Right, right, yeah. It's just yeah. the yogurt itself. Yeah, like don't get the fucking vanilla one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that'd be weird. That'd be weird. But just plain Greek yogurt, you know, I think, yeah. I don't know if that would break down weird because it's dairy, but like that's your healthier option a lot of times. Yeah. Plus the Greek yogurt just has something to it, you know. Yep. 
mayo is eggs and Greek yogurt right. is like dairy. I, I mean, when you're talking Greek yogurt and well, you got fish. Is fish vegan? You can't I don't know what's going vegan? on. No, fish is not know. vegan for sure, but is it vegetarian is the question. Oh, probably not because it's an animal. Yeah, but like. But like you can do whatever you want. Like I know Steve-O is like vegan, but then he'll also eat like shellfish. Because yeah, see? Fish is in that weird area. We've talked about this yeah. before. Like what the fuck is the deal with fish and veganism or, or vegetarian? I, I, I don't get it. Yeah. There's a fucking animal know. in my book, but I don't know. Right. I don't read from even, the same book as most people. Even in religion, like the Christians are like, you right. know, when it gets to Good Friday or whatever, they're like, you can't eat fish or you can't eat meat. Can't fish eat is it, okay. It, right. You know, it's like, oh, I got whatever. Oh, whatever. okay. It's like that animal is different. It, it's different, but it's still an animal. You still said animal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's my book. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. That's Word awesome. The street is. Pope owned the fish market back in the day when that was instated. It used to be fast for everything. And then the one Pope owned the fish market, and he's like, the fish, though, right? <laughs> and right? they're like, yeah, well, okay, yeah, whatever. Right, yeah, I've heard that, too. I've heard that, too. <laughs> so, okay, before we get into football, what about this idea, Tim? Getting a turkey, breaking that bitch down, and doing turkey, like, four different ways. Smoke the Ooh. legs. Put the breasts into, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like put them covered in bacon and just slow roast them or something like that. Yeah. And take dude. the wings and, you know, what do you think about that idea? I want to I do like that. that. Dude, I don't know if I've ever had a turkey wing. Like, I mean, when you Crazy. roast the whole bird, you know, but never tried to make a turkey wing by itself. Like do something different with it, you know? Sure. I've had. It's wild. The whole bird, obviously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like the way my parents, you know, do it after it's cooked, it's all like carved up. You don't right. ever even see the bird. Right. Yeah. So you don't even know which pieces of meat you're eating. Right. Which is a little bit crazy because you don't have like, it'd be great to grab that turkey leg and just move into it. But I don't think the skin is ever that crispy. The way if you smoke it, it though, I think there's yeah. something to that, right? Smoke turkey legs like a thing. Oh, hell yeah. Smoke turkey leg. Because you can get that at the state fair in every place. Like it's a, Yeah. Exactly. Like everybody's all gung ho about it, just like yeah, right. give me that big old turkey leg, right? You know, and turkey breast is real good too, making that into different stuff. But I just never had a turkey wing, but it makes sense oh, to yeah. try to do something special with it. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, if it was just some else, idea I had, and I was like, that'd be cool. To, that'd be cool to bring that. You know, mm-hmm. everybody else goes and makes their own turkey, and then you bring you just be like, oh, I know you guys said not do the turkey, but I made turkey four ways. Right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, for sure. That's ex- yeah. It's great. I I want to try it. I definitely want to try it. So, just an idea I wanted to throw out there and be like, hey, here's some fun. Tim, I want to talk a yeah. little bit of football. Yeah, the Vikes actually play on Thanksgiving this year. We do, and Three. we play Sunday. What? We play this Sunday and then Thursday. Oh, right. We got a short turnaround. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're hot right now. It's it's hot. Yeah, it's rough. So we got the Bills and the Lions at the 1230 game. These are Eastern times, by the way. We got the Giants and at Dallas, or I don't know if they're at Dallas. It seems like they're always at Dallas at the 430. So there so. you go. You got your Lions and your Dallas games right away, right? And then the Vikings and New England are that evening game. I was like, holy shit. They got the prime spot. I can't believe it. Is yeah. it the prime spot on Thanksgiving, though? Because everybody already falling asleep by then. <laughs> right. I got to work the next morning, so oh, I got to be home. So I'll be watching it at home. But still, I mean, Black Friday is a slow day when you're talking deliveries and stuff because... Mm, everybody shit shopping. hasn't hit the fan yet and like yeah. most because half of my day is doing deliveries first and then doing pickups you basically empty out the truck to fill it back up right and most of the pickups are closed right because most people have off black friday yeah so then you just you know you have a shorter day it's not that busy or whatever so sure. i can stay up late Right. And then take a nap midday. Not a big deal. <laughs> take a nap just, while the Giants and play Dallas. 
<laughs> but yeah, I was just looking. Yeah, we got the night spot playing the Patriots, and that's a home game. No, it is. Nice. Yeah. Should be. I think the home team is always at home or on the bottom. Oh, this listing. Use it's always Yahoo like Sports this Hacular. at this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's always this team at this team. Yeah. So the Patriots, works. Patriots have a really good defense. Um, mm-hmm. Not a great offense, but we're, they're kind of like the opposite of us. Ah. We have a good offense and not the greatest defense. So it might be an interesting game. Good, good. And then 11.30 in the afternoon is the Bills versus the Lions, huh? Yeah, and the Bills and the Lions slaughter. is like... Oh, do the Bills now get to play in the Lions stadium two weeks in a row? How weird is that? What? Because the Bills are playing... Who is it this week? What? Yeah, here's the crazy part. The Bills are playing the Browns this week. But in Buffalo, New York, where the Bills play... Yeah. They're supposed to be like one of the worst snowstorms or like one of the worst blizzards of all time. Really? So they're expecting it to be such a shit show that they move that game to Detroit because Detroit has a dome. So they get to play inside. Yeah. No. It's supposed to be gnarly in Buffalo. Hey, dude. Yeah. That's crazy because I love watching football in the snow. I, it's one of my favorite things. It's like, that's I don't really follow the NFL that much. I don't watch it that much. But like when it snows, I'm like, hey, it's snowing in Philly tonight. We should watch the game. <laughs> yeah. It does get interesting. There's definitely stuff. I mean, it's kind of slow though. You know, like it's interesting to watch it back and forth and all this stuff. It gets crazy. But at the end of the day, it'll be like an eight to 10 game. And you're right. Like, Ooh. Right. You know, just nobody can move the ball because they're slipping and sliding all over the place. But it yeah. is kind of interesting Great. because people are eating shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's actually a, like a pretty decent game site. The only thing that's crazy is that the Lions get to play because the Lions suck shit. But the Lions always play on Thanksgiving. The Lions always fucking play. It's always the Lions but, in Dallas every single yeah. fucking year. They're just like locked in now. So we'll see. What happens this week? Clearly, we're still going to have an above 500 record because we're 8-1. and one. Even right. if we lose, we go to 8-2. and two. Right. Um, But where the Patriots play the Jets, and the Jets are actually pretty good this year. Which is weird. So if the, when yeah. If everybody the, said that. I know. Not in a <laughs> long time. But if the Patriots end up losing, they'll be a 500 team. They'll be 5-5. Five and five. Okay. But... We play the Patriots, who will be 500 or better if they win. So it's like a good matchup there with two winning teams. Mm -hmm. And then the Bills, who are a winning team, play the Lions, which not a winning team. Mm -hmm. But then the Giants, another one. Giants are 7-2 and right now. Holy shit. I know. I had no idea. And the the Cowboys are 6-3. and Okay. Hopefully they go into that game 6-4 and because we play them this weekend. (laughs) <laughs> so but yeah it's it's all like winning matchups it's all good teams except nice. for the lions yeah which is just a default fucking go-to yeah for, for, and the lions could be good this year if they stayed healthy oh and their offensive line looked really good at the beginning like jared goff their quarterback was throwing for a lot of yards and things were going well Mm-hmm. And then they just fell on their face, or they were putting up a shit ton of points, and they were just their defense is so bad that the other team just scored oh, a shit more. ton more points. <laughs> <laughs> Which is how sports work. <laughs> yeah, because one of their first games was crazy, where I think it was like one of the highest scoring games of the year. The Lions? Yeah. Holy shit, really? They can put up some points. But I don't think they can stop anybody. So well, that's yeah. So that's how they lose. That's why they lose. Like the offense puts in work, and the defense can't. Yeah. Do shit. It, it was uh, defense Seattle. wins championships. It was Seattle in week four. They lost, but it was forty-five to forty-eight. What the fuck, dude? I know. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> That was an yeah. NFL game. NFL game where the over under, even if it's a high over under, 
is like 55 points is like a pretty high over under. I think that's like one of the highest over unders you get. Okay. And then their combined total was 93. So, (laughs) you know, and and if you don't know sports, the over under means like the total of the two teams. So 55 would be like, that's a high scoring game. If you have, you know, like a 20 to 25 game, that's a right. pretty high scoring game. Yeah. Where theirs is 45 to 48. Almost 100 fucking points to come yeah. together. <laughs> and their first game of the season, uh, Philly's defense, who everybody says is like one of the best defenses in the league, they put up 35 points against Philly's defense. God damn. But they gave up 38 points. So right. they lost again. Right. So that's the whole thing. <laughs> Like they're putting up points, but then, but then because New England has good defense in week five, nothing. They lost 29 to zero after putting up 45 points the game before. What? Dude, the Lions are dumb. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to be watching that game. <laughs> what yeah. The fuck? I know it's going to be on, but now but I kind of want to like try to put more effort yeah. into seeing it. What the fuck? Yeah, but these last two games are basically making the Lions have made it so like we're almost becoming untouchable in our division as far as making the playoffs go. Oh, because they beat Green Bay so and well, they beat Green Bay and they beat Chicago. Oh, nice. Right. So they beat the two other teams that we have to go against. Right. And then they're tanking their own shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, so they're, Somehow they're beating these two that we actually have to compete with, but then they're tanking <laughs> their own goddamn game. Every yeah. other time they play, <laughs> they're they're three and six. The Bears are three and seven, and the Packers, Packers lost tonight. I just checked. So the Packers oh. lost tonight. Who are also they're four and six. Yep. So it's three, three, and four wins. Right, and then we're sitting at eight and one right now. Yeah, we're eight and one. Yep. Fucking crazy. Dude, let's end. Let's play a little totally trivia crazy. before we wrap this up, huh? What do you think? What do you think? Let's do it. <laughs> uh, Horn of plenty for uh, yeah, yeah, for a hundred <laughs> for for one hundred points, right? No, it's just football games. It just it's about football because I just I was looking this up and I was like, ah, let's just have a little fun here. When was the last time the Vikes played on Turkey Day without Googling it? Get off your phone, you cheater! Oh. No, I wasn't gonna. That wasn't. I wasn't googling that. Oh, okay. I was gonna play Alex Trebek swearing. Um, <laughs> yes, to look that up. <laughs> I have it. I, I'm ready. I just had to pull it up. I think I sent it to my wife today. I just randomly saw it. So when we talked, <laughs> when we threw up Jeopardy, uh, when's the last time we played on Thanksgiving? Yeah, there's a copy of Aqua Teen Hunger Force on the line. <laughs> 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 um, I'm gonna say four years ago, 2022. Oh no, it was probably before COVID. Six years ago. Uh, I gotta do math now. God damn it! I wasn't uh, ready for that. Um, Twenty. Um. Okay, so I'm 2016. doing math. 2016. Oh, 2017, dude. You, damn, that counts. <laughs> <laughs> that counts. I remember I was trying to be like, oh, I was that my Uncle Grant's for that one, I think. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. That's why, I was like, that's why I was like, it was before COVID. Right, right. You're trying to figure it all out. Like yeah. where you were. That's so yeah. great. Yeah. Because I remember watching it at my Uncle Grant's house. Yeah. That's so good, dude. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay. Between 76 and this year, the Bills have played in how many Thanksgiving Day games? The Bills between yeah. 76 and now? Yeah. <laughs> They've been around forever, dude. <laughs> Us. Um, this is just a guess. I had 21. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. Oh, so they never get it. 94 in 2019, and now they're in again this year as their third year only ever. Isn't that fucking funny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they've been around for so long and i just so i just picked a random number to like 
throw it off or like they played in 76 and then 94 and 2019 so actually this is their fourth one okay but what i'm saying is <laughs> they've only played in two since the first time they've played in <laughs> that's crazy and in 94 that was back when they were good right that was back in the dallas bills like you know era. they're good now but yeah they're good again for sure right which is yeah. it kind of makes you go like so they've sucked that long yeah they've, <laughs> they've been sucked bad. that much <laughs> They were bad for a long time. <laughs> They've sucked so bad they only have made it in twenty in ninety four and then twenty nineteen and now in twenty twenty two. Which, if I'm correct, all good years for the Bills, or at least forecast to be good years for the Bills. Sure. <laughs> so it's just funny. That it's is really crazy. Funny. It is crazy. Uh guess. Who they played in those games prior to this year? I mean, we know who they're playing this year. It's the Lions, Dal- Dallas, and the Lions. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly why I wanted to put that. <laughs> and and so then on on the same note, when was the? How long has Dallas been playing? Turkey Day games. When was the first time do you think that they played? Dude. A little hint back to the Bills. A little bit of a hint in the Bills one. They didn't play. It wasn't the 76 game that was the first time Dallas played, but like, think about it's before 76. I'll give you that much. Like, that's how long Dallas has been playing in Thanksgiving games. Dude, they call it America's team, so that's why they make it in every single one. I don't know yeah. why Lions are in every single one. <laughs> but, oh, man. I don't know either. Detroit, I, dude, I don't even have a good Cars. guess. Like, when did the NFL yeah. start? That's, <laughs> right. I, was even, I was even thinking about that. Like, if I was, like, Final Jeopardy and I had to wager whatever, you know, you write down your wager and you write down your uh-huh. guess, I would, yeah. like, wager all my money. And then just write down all of them. <laughs> <laughs> just, just how many games have they played? All of them. All of every, every single one. <laughs> every one. When did we start doing it? <laughs> right. They'd be like, I don't know. Can we accept that? Like, what year did they start? Can you tell us what year they start? Like, no, like, I just don't know. every single Turkey Day game. <laughs> every Dallas single has one. Been there. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. 68. Yeah. 66. <laughs> I was 66. just about to say it. Yep. <laughs> 66 like I, yeah dude it's crazy that's crazy i'm just like go oh, y- you guys how did they get that america's team like how, what, i how don't did that i don't know what the story is because they is started playing in, on thanksgiving day every day they were the only people who volunteered for it like what how it's crazy i don't know i don't know if it's because it's texas and the cowboys and whatever i don't know dude i don't, I don't know get, i don't know how it's america's team like they're all america's team well that, so, i mean it's not like fucking the lions it's not like detroit's called the fords right yeah <laughs> like, and it's not like I mean? the nba where we have some uh canada teams right every every single one of them is in america <laughs> Right. <laughs> there are no NFL teams outside of the 48 states. It's just, right. they don't exist. Nope. I don't know. It's fucking weird. I don't get it. Anyways, felt like that would be a fun way to wrap up the podcast. Real AF TV. That's right. Real AF dot TV slash contact. You can talk to us. We talk back. You can basically email us. Find us on social media. Real AF TV. Remember real like fish and real Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You know, we got TikTok. We just don't pay attention to it. You know, come on. Are you on TikTok? Yeah, if you, Leave it in the YouTube comments. If you messaged us, we would say something. I don't know how we get the alerts. I'm sure it would be like, we'll figure it out. hey, you have an open message or whatever. I get an email <laughs> about it. Right, yeah, we get an email about it probably. <laughs> uh, anyways, like and subscribe and all that stuff. This is a holiday special. I'm not going to go further into it. Let's end on America's Game Show host. Well, that might be Bob Barker. That's a debatable. Bobby. 
Hey, Bobby. Oh, man. Bobby let's, B. Let's just end on a classic American game show host. Giving us the business. <laughs> giving us the mother father business. <laughs> Oops, I'm knocking over my can here. Come on, just open it up already. Oh, come on. 24 hours a day and call this number. You dumb son of a bitch. You don't watch it 24 hours a day. There's a daily cash prize of $1,000 and fuck. <laughs> All now play phone here. She drank the poison that Captain Hook intended for Peter Pan. Tinkerbell! That's him saying Tinkerbell. What? <laughs> fuck him. I don't know. That's the end of it. I don't know what the the producer says. He says he says she made him drink the poison. Then he goes, Tinkerbell. <laughs> and then the producer says something off camera, and he just goes, "Fuck him." <laughs> <laughs>